Hello friends, welcome again. My name is Srinath and I'm from Talk Easy. Take a look at this sentence. Don't do time pass. Do you think this sentence is right? Well, the word time pass doesn't exist in English, but we Indians use it to mean whiling away time doing something. In this lesson, I'm going to tell you the right word you can use in its place as an alternative. And if you're watching this lesson without having subscribed to my channel, please do consider subscribing. Now, you must understand that there are two different words. One is past time. It only has one S. And the other word is past time. It has two S's in it. And there is a space between past and time. Now, let's understand what is past time. It is something that you do as a recreational activity that takes your time off the usual work that you do every day. For example, playing games on the mobile is his pastime. Listening to music is her pastime. Hanging out with my friends is my pastime. Now, let's understand what is pastime. There is a space between the words past and time. If you do something simply to while away your time, it is called passing time. Let's say your friend asks you, hey, what were you doing last night? So you tell him, nothing much. I was just listening to songs to pass time. It simply means he was not feeling sleepy. So he has to do something until he falls asleep. So he was listening to music to pass his time. Let's say you're waiting for your friend at the park and it takes about half an hour for him to reach the place. So what would you do to pass your time? You would probably call someone and talk to them over phone or you would probably play some games on your mobile phone to pass your time. You don't want to be idle. So you're doing something to keep you engaged to pass your time. So this is called pass time. Hope you have understood this. If you still don't understand, remember this. You pass time with your past time. I'll repeat it. You pass time with your past time. Let me summarize this for you once again. The word time pass doesn't exist. But there are two words. One is past time with one S. It is something like a recreational activity that we do to keep ourselves engaged. The other one is passing time. There are two S's in it and you have a space between pass and time. It means to do something to while away your time, to kill your time. So that is called pass time. Next time when you come across such a situation, don't say don't do time pass. You can say don't pass your time. And let me tell you something. I've launched a new course, business communication and an email drafting course for all the corporate employees. If you're someone who often has to send emails at the office, this is really going to be of help to you. Here, I've taught you everything about drafting professional emails at the workplace. From opening statements to closing statements, you can learn everything about drafting emails in this course. I've given the link of my application in the description. You can check it and download the application. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.